Taurus, welcome to this just in time tarot reading. And if you are watching this, Taurus, trust that there is a message here for you. And Taurus, that message begins with, ooh, meditate and contemplate. New moon in Pisces. Okay, so there's a new beginning here or a new door opening. Now you're being asked to reflect or contemplate on your approach to stepping through this door or saying yes to it. New moon in Pisces. The Pisces energy can sometimes be where the path forward isn't quite clear yet. Uh, you know, or maybe you know you're going to be moving towards this, but you're keeping a secret. The Piscean energy is the moon energy where, you know, sometimes we haven't revealed it. And you're being asked to meditate and contemplate on how that might uh, play out. Well, that's intriguing. Let's go to the Oracle of the Angels here, Taurus, and see what we've got. Ooh, strength. So you're going to need some strength and courage for that communication. Okay, the Ace of Swords is what I see here. But that is going to be a big win for you. Okay, you're being asked to stay in your power. You're being asked to be clear and direct and to hold your boundaries here, deliver with clarity. But strength and courage is definitely going to lead to some kind of big win. It's the Ace of Swords. It initiates a new beginning here. All right, Taurus, well, let's go to the tarot. I'm using the beautiful Moonchild Tarot from Danielle Knoll because I know some of you will ask and all of her tarot decks are just gorgeous. Okay, I got the Four of Swords. Look at that. That is the, you know what, if I could put these two cards together, Taurus, I'd come up with this. It's like you get one plus one equals Four of Swords here. Um, this is the energy of somebody who's waiting. You're either waiting for an answer. See the Ace of Swords again? You might actually be asked, uh, waiting for the verdict from somebody else here, or you might be the one to deliver a truth. You might have been sitting on a truth here. Now, what is weighing down on you is the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords can be hurt, it can be pain, it can be a severing of ties or a disappointment. So it feels like that is what is um, at risk here or at stake. Now, you're being asked to reflect meditate and contemplate if you are the one delivering this truth here um you know or you're being asked to to wait patiently and that that answer is coming well let's get some more information on this four of oh, four of cups as well yeah i feel like you are the one that is waiting here you know four of cups is somebody who is kind of a little bit almost like waiting for growth waiting for something to happen here there's been inaction but finally it feels like things are going to move again what have we got the two of wands okay um the two of wands is like you're really wanting to expand to broaden your horizons to meet some kind of new potential here so what i feel is that you're still very much where you're you're at right now you're very much in a situation where you know, you're feeling into the Four of Cups. It either feels a bit boring, lack of growth here. Um, there's a dream here. In the, with the Two of Wands, there's a dream here that you really want to achieve. But maybe, you know, up until now, you've sort of been hoping that that would happen or that a circumstance would shift the way. But Spirit is saying, actually, no, you need to meditate and contemplate on this and actually step into your strength and take some action. Because the Two of Wands is usually um, getting ready to act on something you've been planning or a big dream here often it's like okay well I need to change my location or I need to reach outside of my comfort zones so it's further afield than what you've been trying so far okay that's why it's really going to push you here okay the next step after the two of wands is the three of wands where we decide to we decide to uh, to be all in we decide to jump you know take a leap of faith right we're no longer just planning and thinking and dreaming and scheming and meditating, but we actually take the action towards this. Two of Pentacles. So there's a big decision that you are weighing up. I think you are the one that's weighing it up here. And it, it feels like it's something that's going to take you out of a situation or out of an environment that you are in now. Now, I think going back to that Four of Swords, you're keeping this truth. And I think that you might be looking at a Three of Swords ending here. It's, that could look like leaving a workplace, uh, leaving a relationship in order to better yourself, to further yourself. Like it's a for the greater good. 
so that you can get bigger wins or bigger victories, so that you can meet a bigger potential here. But yes, it is a really big decision. Oh my goodness. Okay, should we make that the last one? Yeah, it feels like there is a victory here for you. And that victory is in taking the action. I feel like if you haven't started seeking, applying for the pieces that you need to move towards that future plan or dream, then you need to start doing that because I think the universe is going to connect you with it. Or at least the first stepping stone or the first win will come through. Um, you know, the Pisces energy, be mindful of your own shadow in this where you might just go, oh, well, you know, it's comfortable, it's okay, you know, this is as good as it gets. No, there is, a, there is another path here. There is definitely a new door to open, but you'll need to be in your strength and courage here and stay really strong. And it feels like very soon you might need to have, um, you know, a, a hard conversation with either an employer or a partner uh, or, you know, something that you've kind of been part of here that you feel that you're going to disappoint somebody. But Spirit is just saying, look, this is your time, this is part of your path, and you need to broaden your horizons and reach your destiny here as well. And it's going to lead to, you know, a really big win for you. So I wish you all the best with it, Taurus. I'm going to leave it there. If you would like a personal reading to tune into your specific circumstances, uh, the first link down below will take to my website where you can check those out. And uh, please do follow along on Instagram for daily readings. And I'm doing up free little mini personal readings over there as well. But you'll need to be there and uh, checking my story when I put the call out for those. Just wishing you all the love and magic, Taurus. Do take care. Bye for now.